let p of x be the predicate 4x plus 1 is even, is p of 5 true or false? p of 5 is the statement 4 times 5 plus 1 is even. And 4 times 5 plus 1 is equal to 20 plus 1 or 21. 21 is even, is false, since 2 is not a factor of 21, and therefore p of 5 is false. Before we take a look at parts B and C, let's review mathematical quantifiers. The existential quantifier is this symbol shown here, which looks like a capital E facing the wrong direction and is read there exists or there is. The universal quantifier is this symbol, which looks like an upside down capital A and is read for all or for every. So now going back to our question for part B, what if anything can you conclude about there exists an x such that p of x is true, meaning there exists an x such that 4x plus 1 is even from the truth value of p of 5. Well, we know p of 5 is false, but we still don't know whether there exists an x such that 4x plus 1 is even because we are not given the domain of discourse, meaning we don't know what values to consider for x. And therefore, there exists an x such that 4x plus 1 is even could be true or could be false. For example, if we knew that one-fourth was in the domain of discourse, p of one-fourth would indicate that four times one-fourth plus one is even, and four times one-fourth plus one is one plus one or two, two is even is true, and therefore p of one-fourth would be true. But again, we don't know whether one-fourth is in the domain of discourse, which is why there exists an x such that p of x could be true or could be false. And then for part c, what if anything, can you conclude about for every x, p of x is true, or for every x, 4x plus 1 is even from the truth value of p of 5? Well, again, because p of 5 is false, it follows that for every x, for every x, p of x is true would also be false, or for every x, 4x plus 1 is even is false. And therefore, we select the second option. For every x, p of x must be false. A common way to show that a given quantified statement is false is to show the negation is true. The negation of for every x, p of x is true is there exists an x such that p of x is false. Notice the form of the negation, we pass the negation over the quantifier, which switches the quantifier. The negation of for every x, p of x is true is there exists an x such that p of x is false, which we know from part a because p of five is false. So because the negation is true, we know the original quantified statement is false. I hope you found this helpful.